Hey everyone, welcome back to the Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. I'm so excited for this video. If you can't tell by the title of this video and the boxes that are here, not just one, but two large boxes, I'm doing a huge haul unboxing from my favorite puzzle shop, Odyssey Fine Puzzles. Now, if you've gone to any of my videos, in the description box, I have listed my favorite places to buy puzzles, and they are the first ones listed every single time. And I've mentioned them quite a few times on my channel, but this is the first time actually buying from them since I started my channel. So I'm so excited to show you the puzzles that I get from them. I also really love how personable this company is. They're really tiny husband and wife duo who are in the East Coast. It's either, I'm probably sure I can see it, Georgia, it's in Georgia. And so they are a smaller company. I love supporting smaller businesses, but their prices aren't crazy. You know, their puzzles retail between probably like 18 to $30, depending on the brand. And as the title of their company, Odyssey Fine Puzzles, indicate is that they really strive to curate their collection and sell puzzles that are high quality with no kinks to the brand whatsoever. So, so excited to share this company with you. Now, here's how this video came to be. So if you just wanna to skip to the haul, go ahead, I'll put a timestamp down below so you can just skip to the things that I got. But I actually was just checking my email like normal and I'm signed up for their weekly or monthly newsletter. And it's one very funny to read because there's always like something happened that's a very real life situation that put like a kink to their operations and it's just a good read and it also tells you about like new puzzle brands that are coming out maybe a certain brand's out of stock and sometimes they give you a little heads up that there's a sale going on so i did get 20 percent off a couple of the brands in here so that's what sucked me into making a purchase but then once i actually made the purchase i was like you know what i want to do a video about them and so I'm gonna reach out to the brand. I've never done that before since starting my channels, like reaching to a brand to see if they have like a coupon code or just like information about the brand that they wanted me to share. So I reached out to the brand just to be like, hey, I'm Emily, I have a YouTube channel, I wanted to make this video, I love supporting your business, and I wanted to know if you could supply my viewers with a coupon code. If not, totally fine, like I love supporting your business anyways, um, take care. I love transparency, so I'm actually gonna like leave my email down below just so you know I'm not trying to like, I don't get sponsored by them or anything. Um, so he did reach out, his name is Kevin, and I know it's Kevin because he actually writes a handwritten note in every single purchase. So every time I've ever gotten a box from them or a puzzle from them, they always have a letter from Kevin and he talks about the puzzles that you got. And it's so nice because it's just a nice feature. You can tell that it's a really small business because my money is going towards supporting him and his family. And I just really love that. So he reached out, super excited that I'm doing this video. He did supply a coupon code for the rest of August, so I'll put it on the screen. I believe it's Casual Puzzler Savings. If not, it's definitely on the screen, and I'll leave it down below. And you'll get 10% off your order, and I believe you also get free shipping if it's over $55. So that's really nice that he did that, and he also said that he did put in a extra little gift for me, and he didn't want me to mention it because he didn't think it would. He thought it would skew my view of his company, but. Honestly, I love the brand either way, and the fact that he sent me something extra, I just wanted you guys to know that too. So I just wanted to be honest on that, is that he did send me a free gift, but I really was not expecting anything, and I just love this brand, and I'm so excited to sh open these boxes. Oh my gosh. So for me, I live in California. He lives in Georgia. It takes about a week for me to get the puzzle. So if you live closer to the East Coast, it would definitely be uh, faster shipping. Um, also, they are a smaller company, so fulfillment is just a little bit longer anyways. And sometimes their products do sell out quite frequently on their website. So I would say if you see a puzzle that you love, you should pick it up because sometimes they don't reorder the same exact puzzle. They just like to have a rotating variation of puzzles that they love. And I will leave more from his email down below in case you just want to hear about the brand and their story. Let's just dive into these boxes. I'll actually make it so I can reach into one and we will just check out these puzzles. If the ones are, that I got are still available, I'll link them down below. I think a couple of them were out of stock the last time I checked, um, but always check back because some of their puzzles do come back in stock. So let's take a peek. 
Okay. To round top, we have my receipt, and then we have my note, and it just says, Hi, Emily. Thank you so much for your order. It's always nice to see them coming in. Great choices. I especially like the cartoons ones you ordered. You may know by now that I'm a big fan of them. Hope you enjoy. Warmest regards, Kevin. And again, this is not the first time I've gotten something like this. He does it for every single purchase that I've done. Oftentimes he mentions like, oh my gosh, you're in California. It's crazy to send my stuff there. So I'm just ready. Okay, not for me rambling. Here we go with the haul. Uh, we have, oh my gosh, this one is the one that I'm probably most excited for. It is gorgeous and I hope it's available so you guys can pick it up if you are interested. But this is from the brand Haya. I think that's how you pronounce it because it's a German brand. Um, but this is, is called Inner Mystic and it's like a rainbow gradient puzzle but in like a dark eerie forest scene with like a reflection of the water. And I love how like the gradient puzzle it's like the sky and then the water is like the blue and purple and it is stunning to look at. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Now I have a couple from this brand, but I've never actually done one. So I feel like I need to do all the ones I have from this brand and make a video about it and let you guys know because their boxes and their pictures on the boxes are just stunning and high quality. Like this is a very thick box and it has, uh, oh, that's cool, they actually, sell in five different languages. So it kind of gives you, oh my gosh. So on the back, it actually has some variations from this collection and all four look so pretty. Now, I don't know how some YouTubers do it where they're filming without their AC because it's like 106 out right now and not having the AC on sounds miserable. So our AC just kicked in. I'm hoping it's not affecting the audio as much. I apologize, but not so much that I'm gonna shut it off. Anyways, let's keep going with the other one from the same brand. Oh my gosh, I got some that were in my wish list for a while, so I'm excited to see this one, which is called, it's from the same brand, it's Movie Master Seek and Find, and it is a Tim Burton puzzle. Now I have another Seek and Find puzzle from White Mountain Puzzle Company that I haven't done yet and I have it on the docket to make a video about so I'm curious to see how the two Seek and Find puzzles differ. Anyway, this one looks so cool. The thing that got me into it is it has Nightmare Before Christmas in there and it also has Alice in Wonderland, like some very eerie scenery and it's just like a big collage puzzle looks very bright and vibrant and I wanted to do it for like a Halloween video but now I'm also thinking I wanted to do it for a Seek and Find video or maybe the Haya video so you'll see this in a video eventually um maybe I'll do something else for Halloween who knows next we have oh this is a brand that someone actually recommended a long time ago and this is the first one that I saw that I was like ooh that looks really fun um and I always seem to buy a Christmassy themed puzzle in the summer. I don't know why, but it just called out to me. This is from the brand Was Was Good. I don't know. On the box it says, "Don't puzzle what you see. Use your imagination. Guess what Santa sees." No, I see an image here. This is not the actual final image. You have to like figure out the final image, which sounds really hard but also really fun and it looks like a fun image anyways because it's like this like cartoonish Santa with this kind of scandalous looking Mrs. Claus and elves and I just think this looks really fun and it's called Santa's Unexpected Delivery. So this one caught my eye and again one of you did mention that I should check it out. So very excited about this one and you'll probably see it more towards the holidays. So the next puzzle we have is from Gibson's and this is called Wonderful World and this is what the front of the box looks like. I like that there's like no cellophane at all um, and then on the back it does give us the image which is a map of the world and it has all these different like landmarks from each place and I just really loved the graphic and it was a brand I really haven't done before. I don't think I've ever done Gibson's. Have you? Um, so it's just something that intrigued me and I love like mappy type of puzzles so we got this one. I don't know the price point. I should, we'll also leave the price points down below. I feel like I was not prepared for this video. All right. Oh, hey. There is actually another note. Um, this is the first time I've ever gotten 
two boxes in one order and it says thanks again Emily for your order I think these may keep you busy for quite some time have fun um, so let's see what's in this one. <gasps> Oh, I'm excited! I was trying to figure out what was happening, and I do see that the he did end up putting in an extra puzzle for me, so I'll show that one next. But the one that I did order is from the brand Stand Out Puzzles. Never heard of them, but they have this tubular type of packaging, and I have another one that I got recently in a haul that has a similar type of packaging, a little bit different vibes, but I just I don't know why this is like fun. <laughs> it's like, ooh, they thought of something different, a different way to package a puzzle, and I, I was excited about it. Anyways, but the image is actually really cool too. It's called Turtle Clove, and it is a circular puzzle, which I do love those. I feel like they're pretty easy to do, and it's this turtle with this like island living on top of him, and I am really excited about it. Sorry, I just got sidetracked by they actually write about the artist on the back and the story behind it. And then the puzzle that he ended up putting in for me was from the same exact brand. So actually, that's really cool because now I can feature both in that same video. Again, from Stand Out Puzzles. And this one's a 750-piece one. The other one was 500 pieces. And it's called Marshmallow Flowers. And that looks really pretty. I'm excited to see. I'm hoping there's like a big insert inside so I can actually see the full image because this probably won't cut it when I'm doing a puzzle. Um, but it looks really bright and vibrant with all these flowers. It also looks really kind of creepy because um, it has, I'll show a close up of it, but on the image it has like these really creepy like eyes with lips. That's really cool that he, oh it's Canadian. This is a Canadian brand. So hey Canada. I know a few of you are from Canada, so that's cool. Looks very pretty. And then this is a brand I haven't tried before either, and I think this was one of the newer brands that he started to feature on his... Oh, the, I have two from this brand. Okay, so we have two from this brand here, and this is from the brand Piatnik. And this one was the first one that I saw on the website that I was like, that's going in the cart, because it is so bright and vibrant. This one is called, let's see, so the, this one is called Great Green Macaw, and I love one that there's layers. So you have like the sky, and then you have like this like background horizon, and then you have the water, and then this is like a field with flowers, and it's just like it's very bright and colorful and vibrant, and it looked really fun. Um, this one's a thousand pieces, and on the back they have a bunch of images of their other puzzles and who I feel like this is a brand I'm going to be very interested in and needing to keep my eye out for because some of their images are gorgeous like I love this flower one I really love this artistic type scene oh that one looks I don't want to do that one it's like some map of a it says Paris but it's Paris and it has all of their different like roads and such that looks crazy hard um, but they all look really cool. Anyway, so this is a brand I've never done. You'll probably see them again in, in the future sometime. Um, but I did get a second one from this brand. And look how crazy this one is. Now this one is called The Story of Wine. And if you are new to my channel, hi. Um, I actually live in wine country in California. And anything wine and hot air balloon related, I'm just really happy about. So this one is like a wedding gone wrong. <laughs> and um, so you have like the bride here who's like dancing on the table. Or I don't think she's dancing. I think she's really upset on the table. Um, but then you have a bunch of people just like naked and being raunchy. We have this guy who's nude. Um, I guess I didn't look at this one very closely when I picked it out. But it looks really funny. It definitely looks very um, adult and cartoonish and <laughs> really fun. Kind of like how quirky it is. I think this one may be my favorite in the whole haul. I, oh no, just kidding. That first one, so pretty. Um, but this one's definitely different. And I'll put a closer image up so you can see it because it's just really funny. Um, anyways, that's it for me today. I got eight new puzzles here, and I did not need eight new puzzles at all in my collection because I'm not keeping up with how many I'm buying versus how many I am doing. 
But one of you did say one of the fun things about being a puzzle lover is the collecting of the puzzles. So thank you so much for justifying my addiction. Um, anyways, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you are new, I'd love if you subscribe down below and comment. I love reading your comments and replying back to you. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.